This video is on the new high-res powered monitors from Klipsch, the 7s and the 9s. Now, you're probably asking yourself, wait, these names sound familiar, right? Am I hearing things? No, you're not. At least, not about this anyway. Let's back up for a second. Clips released the five powered speakers in the spring of 2020, and they were the very first powered speakers available with HDI ARC, meaning you only needed one remote for your TV. They arrived on the scene at a time when people wanted something to enhance their music, movies, and games due to the pandemic. The fives have remained popular because they feature a wealth of connections and professional grade sound that can be integrated into any size space. Now, Klipsch is delivering two new sets of powered speakers under the heritage inspired family of products, the sevens and the nines. These evolved from the fives and share quite a few similarities, so much of what we'll talk about here in the comparisons between the three. As you can see, the major difference is size. The 7s and 9s powered monitors both feature 1-inch titanium tweeters on edge-to-edge -edge Tractrix horns, a proprietary technology that has been the driving force behind the precision Klipsch acoustics. The 7s have a 6.5-inch long-throw woofer, while the 9s have an 8-inch long-throw woofer that is ported to provide bass to enhance the listening experience. So yes, in this case, size definitely matters. Beyond that, let's start with setup. If you're a novice, setting up a new pair of speakers can be downright intimidating. But let's be realistic, people want to take their new toys out of the box and use them immediately. The 7s and 9s had some of the easiest unboxing setups we've ever experienced. They're well packaged and each cable was labeled to make it even easier. The boxes for both powered monitors include a region specific power cord, the remote, a four conductor speaker cable, an extension for that cable, a USB type B to type A cord, and an HDMI cable. And I absolutely love the premium look and feel of all of the cables they provided. Any high-end powered monitors that can be set up in less than five minutes automatically win some points, at least in our books. Now, beyond the fact that the setup and connection were super easy, let's talk about these speakers' aesthetics. Klipsch describes their heritage-inspired products as incorporating luxury materials such as real wood veneer and tactile switches and knobs. And heritage-inspired wireless speakers fit with the original design inspiration of company founder Paul W. Klipsch but with the very latest technology. The 7s and 9s fit that mold, but have one distinction that is noticeable immediately. The copper cone is gone. Klipsch aficionados know copper and black are the brand's signature colors and have set the tone quite literally for more than three quarters of a century. But trust us, it's a welcome change to match the aesthetic of products in the heritage-inspired family. The 7s and 9s come in traditional heritage-inspired colors, walnut and matte black. The grills are magnetic and can easily be removed. What is striking about both sets of powered monitors is the look of the edge-to-edge 90 by 90 track tricks horns and low-frequency high-excursion fiber composite cone woofers. Not only are they black, but a chrome bar also separates them from the horns with the words established in 1946 USA with the Klipsch heritage-inspired script logo on the bottom of the horn. Simple, sleek, and elegant, the principles of mid-century modern design remain, including tactile knobs on the top of the primary speaker and wood veneers. By now, we're sure you're asking us to answer the big question, how do they sound? Well, neither pair of speakers disappoints. We ran many tests on the 7s and 9s to get a real picture of the soundstage. First up, we wanted to try out the Bluetooth connection. We started with the track and walked from the home office in the front of a 1,500 square foot home to the back of the master bedroom. The signal didn't drop and the audio remained crystal clear. We then tested the USB connection and the optical 3.5mm analog plug-in via Amazon Alexa. Using YouTube, we listened to New Order's Blue Monday on the 7s to start. Anyone familiar with this famous track knows the bass line is unforgettable. Not only was Peter Hook's bass line clear, but the vocals and synths were equally crisp without buzzing or popping. For the 9s, we tested the HDMI connection with a live version of Rammstein's Du Hast. The German-based industrial band is well known for its over-the-top stage shows and dazzling pyrotechnics. Not only did the Nines mimic being in the arena with legions of fans, but the sound of the explosions wasn't overpowering to the point of interfering with the live music experience. We then watched the epic battle from Avengers Endgame using the HDMI cable. This is the type of scene where you need not only a full soundstage to capture all of the action, but the right speaker tech to catch the dialogue simultaneously. This scene has several moving parts, including the conversation as superheroes are brought back to life after Thanos snaps his fingers. First, HDMI arc is one of the best innovations to happen in the past decade. People are over the whole remote for every device vibe, complete with a shoebox for storage. One remote for everything is absolutely the best. 
Almost all TVs on the market today have an HDMI ARC output to connect to the HDMI port on speakers to create a seamless connection. Case in point, we were able to adjust the volume using our smart TV's remote and the dialog was very, very clear. We also tested the phono connection on an 80s era Sony turntable with relatively new parts. We chose a reissue of the post-punk band Joy Division's second and final record, Closer. Ian Curtis's disembodied vocals come through the nines as though you were standing next to legendary producer Martin Hannett in a Manchester, UK recording studio in 1980. It was nearly indistinguishable from listening to a track via Bluetooth or USB. We even tested these speakers for gaming. We put Doom Eternal on the Xbox Series S. With the nines positioned equidistant from the left and right sides of the TV, we got incredibly precise sound right down to hearing each slice of the chainsaw cutting through demon spawn, rusty metal cages swinging, and crackling fires. Klipsch bills the THX certified ProMedia 2.1 computer speakers as their best offering for gaming. We'd argue the 7s and 9s are a better option, specifically if you're gaming from your massive TV. Across the board, the 7s and 9s deliver a full, clean soundstage. Klipsch is known for engineering dedicated to recreating sound the way engineers and musicians intended, and both of these sets of monitors do just that. Overall, we loved both the 7s and 9s. The 7s are smaller, but deliver the same full sound as the 9s. Both are easy to use, easy to set up, and easy to enjoy. Not needing a Navy receiver to hear everything is just a perk. As far as we're concerned, it was hard to find anything bad to say about either pair of these powered monitors. Yes, both the 7s and 9s are an investment, but these were built to last and passed down for generations. Klipsch also offers the Connect app on iTunes and Google Play for firmware updates, fine precision tuning, and direct line to customer service. The Connect app had its share of struggles when initially rolled out several years back, but upgrades have made it a far better tool for consumers. If you decide to buy either of these, your best way of supporting us is to buy them from one of our award-winning showrooms or from audioadvice.com. You can purchase with confidence with our price guarantee, two-day shipping, and lifetime expert support. We appreciate your support of AudioVice and look forward to delivering you a great customer experience. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about other breakthrough products like these, click like and subscribe. If you also click the notification button, you'll get a notification when we release videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.